Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man punches Scarlet Witch in the face. Oh God, she unraveled everybody. Oh God, she's killing everybody. No! That worked for you. They can't all beat Jenny. <laughs> Hello and good misfits and welcome to another Under the Lid and this time we're taking a look at Marvel Dice Store and I was super excited to take a look at this. Um, Roxley Games and OP Games kind of partnered with this because they partnered with Marvel and uh, uh, FYI I hope you guys get a Star Wars version of this out soon but Dice Throne is a well-known franchise has been around for a while and they finally got around to taking it out of the fantasy realm and stuff and slapping Marvel on it. Honestly I couldn't be happier. I'm a huge Marvelite. I'm the Marvel guy of the group or whatever. We have a DC guy uh, he's my best friend. Don't even ask about that whole guy. He's a mess because DC people are a mess, right? So Marvel Dice Throne is basically, obviously Dice Throne was the Marvel package. However, I hear a lot of good things about it. Everybody's psyched about it because it adds more to the game. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little confession here. I actually have not played a Dice Throne. I've looked at the I've looked at the game for ages, but the problem I have is almost in the title, Dice. Dice absolutely hate me, don't they, Miss with Tom? Yep. Yes. They, dice absolutely hate me. So I ran away from it for a while. But then I found that it's also really a card game too. And then when they slapped Marvel on it, by the time I got around to looking at it, it slapped Marvel. And I was like, okay, th this might need to be a serious look out here. So they have a gameplay overview for dice thrown here. Your hero board and how it breaks down. You have your different cards and your different dice for your different characters. Obviously, it's laid out just fine. And if you guys don't know Roxy Games, they also are, um, despite being known for Dice Throne, they also put a, a little game called Radlands. You might have seen that in our feed before. Radlands is like one of our favorite two-player games, I think, almost ever. As like, a matter of fact, it's right behind us. In fact, it's right, yes, it is right behind us. Like hidden back there, ooh. So uh, Radlands is an amazing game. So Roxy knows what they're doing. This is They're not new to this whole thing, and they do an amazing job of making these very light, but also deep games that are just a lot of fun. I'm unpunching the game already, you know. I forget it. <laughs> so you have your standees for your different characters, your meow meow, don't forget your meow meow, very important you carry your meow meow with you. And different effects that go on your cards where your thwips, your webbing, your, uh, you know, Scarlet Witch unraveling your flesh from your body and stuff like that. You know, standard Scarlet Witch stuff. Uh, your Loki bag of tricks and whatnot. So, I mean, you could probably even put minis. If you have, like, the Marvel, any of the Marvel hero games, there's a bunch of Marvel mini games or whatever. You can use minis if you really want. And the nice thing about this game is they also package the characters neatly in these game trays. And they keep them capsulized so you don't need to worry about like parts flying around or bagging up all your special characters or whatever boom it's all there baby look at that so i have a nice scarlet witch board here and on the back of the board is her different abilities different powers that you pay dice for the witch uh dark hold hex bolt where's the unraveling reed richards power i don't see that in here anywhere <laughs> it's in the expansion it's in the expansion <laughs> so you put your board out there and uh, all your components are kind of going to be similar, but we'll open a couple of guys here just to take a look. So you have a Scarlet Witch, and she'll give rules clarifications for her specific power and abilities. I do like the art on these. I will say they're um, a little kind of almost anime-ish cartoony. It's a little more simplistic than I like, but I do like it. I mean, it's very pretty. I prefer the more realistic kind of Jim Lee art or whatever, but it does look very, very good. Um, and they're kind of hitting probably a kind of more uh, younger aspect of this because they're probably, you know, appealing to all young and old, especially young who likes... Marvel. We have our Scarlet Witch dice with her specific to her, different symbols on there. We have her combat points, and this is her counter that I'll keep track of her points here as she goes along. We also have her health. I mean, who's Scarlet Witch doesn't need health. She's just gonna murder everybody. Everybody. I've been I've been reading a lot of Marvel Congress for a long time, so uh, the most recent movie really didn't surprise me at all if you haven't seen the movie i'm sorry i might have spoiled you although at this point it's been how long now since that movie came out seems like an eternity now doesn't it yeah it's been a while like i saw several other movies after it so if you haven't seen uh multiverse of madness i would suggest you go watch it and wanda is totally the good guy in that movie wanda was right coming out on streaming soon. it actually i think it is out on streaming already isn't it could be i'm pretty sure it's out on streaming already yeah anyway so we got her specific card set here. So it gains her stuff because it's also a deck builder as well as a dice roller. And that's specific to her. And all the all the boxes will go through this. So you know you got your Thor, your Spidey. I'm gonna take a look at Spidey next because I'm a big fan of Spidey, Peter or Miles, both. Okay, which one is that? Is that Miles? That is Miles. You start out with Miles. 
Um, which begs the question, usually they start with PD, um, but that's cool that have Miles as the starting uh, Spidey in this one. I wonder if they put out a classic Spidey, you know? PD is, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, that's the whole thing. Uh, anyway, so you have this side, you know, facing everybody. And then you have your cook combos on the back. See how I did that? It's con cook combo break. Killer Instinct, never mind, forget it. I'm showing my age again, guys. Uh, so we have your spider senses tingling, you know, classic Spidey lane, and different abilities you trigger when you roll those dice in. So very cool. And then here's some of Spidey's shtick. These are rules clarifications, much like I said, they're all gonna be kind of the same stuff. Same components for everybody. You have your dice, your thwips, your webbing. You have his combat points that you gain as you go along. And you have your health dial for him. We'll take a quick look at Spidey's cards and then we'll probably call it there because the other two are gonna be all similar. I'll have a dial, they all have the same dice, things like that. I don't think they're any different. Um, I think they put out a few different Marvel sets so far too. There's a couple of expansions out for this already. If you guys are watching this, do me a favor in the comments below. Let me know who your favorite you know, hero is. If not that, let me know if you think Wanda is a villain or not. That's an even better question, right? Because I've been reading her from since the House of M and everything back in the Marvel Comics days. So she's done some bad stuff. So let me know. Do you think she is the villain? Do you think she was portrayed correctly in Multiverse of Madness? You know, a lady just trying to get her kids back? It's a good question. And this is, of course, Spidey's particular cards. We have a Booyah in there. Because why not? Milkshake me. <laughs> Milkshake me. <laughs> it reminds me of the in Pete Townsend skits. Don't ask. You'd have, you'd have to check them out. Getting paid. Tip it. Bye-bye. Get that out of here. So yeah, these are all very specific to the characters. It's a very cool game, very uh, easy to play, pick up and play. And again, they have more characters coming out daily. And again, if they don't get a Star Wars game of this, I'll be very surprised because it'd be very welcome. Much like Villainous, of course. You know, we got our Marvel and then we got our Star Wars. So actually, before we finished our last video, we got more glorious dice thrown in from Marvel and the OP games. So these add four more characters to the game. You have Captain Marvel, Black Panther, uh, Black Widow and Doctor Strange. And we'll just pull these out real quick and go through each of them because uh, I actually know what the boards are now. I know what they do. The rule book was, uh, I've already had a chance to go through the rule book. It kind of summarized everything perfectly. Although, um, it, I mean, it just runs you through it. I, but it does lay out things very, very well. I almost feel like they, you're reading this like as if you played Dice Throne before, but because uh, a couple of times I was like, well, what? But honestly, it covers everything you need to know about the game. And the game's one versus one or three free for all kind of king of the hill thing. And then you have a two versus two with the different faction cards or different factions, um, not factions. I was doing a smash of video last time. I'm stuck on factions now, but different characters actually, because they're their own thing. And I love the art style. They did a very cutesy kind of comic-y, uh, comic-y, comic art style that's even more kind of cutesy. It's, it's not quite anime, you know what I mean? But uh, I like it. I like it. Very nice. It's very nice. very nice. So as Dr. Will steals the rule book here, I can tell you all about it. So and this is your player board. This references all your powers that you can use when you roll the dice in. And then you have a quick card here that, and I love quick cards, quick of course, card. are very nicely oh. laminated. Everything to go over rules, clarifications, because the each of the characters has different abilities. And a lot of times they will give each other status effects, either your teammates or yourself. If you don't have teammates, you'll give like negative status effects to other players or positive status effects to you. And then over here is where your different ability status effects are. That's what you punch out here. I actually don't know what the point of these punch outs are other than to say they're cool. They don't, they don't actually come with standees. So it's like these random punch out of characters. I don't know. Please somebody tell me in the comments because I, I, we pulled these out and they're like, they didn't really serve a purpose, but, but they're in there in case you want standees without stands. Uh, then you have your combat points. You use these to spend on your cards that you draw every turn. And they can be everything from adjusting the dice to um, messing with your other, other characters or drawing cards. Um, and also to upgrade. These uh, abilities on your board can be upgraded and you have all these offensive abilities and you have a, a defensive ability or two on the bottom. And then you have your life counter here, obviously. You know, fifth, most of the time, you just start with 50 health in the game. You have your dice that you roll in. These are actually really nice. They got like, kind of a kind of an orangey yellow. So what, what would you call this color, Doctor? Uh, mustard. Mustard. Thank you. That's very good. He's also a doctor of colors. And basically, you roll them in. You get three rolls, kind of like King of Tokyo. And you could choose what dice to re-roll. You don't lock them in, so you can re-roll all of them at the end if you really wanted to. But basically, you choose what to keep, and you're trying to trigger one of their abilities. But the nice thing about this game, and the interesting part, is that it doesn't just use the symbols. It also uses the number, like, you know, a standard six-sided dice. So you can try to shoot for a straight, and most of the heroes all have a large straight and a small straight option, where if you happen to pull that off, usually get something pretty nice. 
Um, and then you have your cards. Of course, they have a turn order for your cards. Thankfully, quick cards are the order of the day for the OP. And even have some timing references in the back. And each character has their own abilities as well as upgraded versions of your abilities on the board. A lot of times you'll have a little dice manipulation there in the cards as well. And then a lot of times you, you have cards that are instants and you have main, event, uh, main cards you're going to play during your turn. Stuff like that. And once you knock out the other player characters, you win the game. Pretty straightforward, but it is a lot of fun. And it does, becomes one of this thing. Uh, we won actually the, the game we played, one of the, one of the better games we played. Um, it was, I was playing um, uh, Scarlet Witch. And, uh, and my son was playing uh, Spidey. And uh, Chris, I forget what Chris was playing. But at the very end of the game, um, uh, Joey pulled out uh, uh, Ultimate. Because at the bottom of the, of, the, of the board, they all have an ultimate ability, which is all sixes. Um, which you could do, but it's kind of hard to do, obviously, rolling all sixes on uh, five dice. But if you pull it out and nobody um, chain, uh, chain, has anything to change the dice around or mess with the dice, you pull off your ultimate and it's unblockable. You can't avoid the damage in any way. And I had like 11 life left. I was in, I was in the lead. I'm going to win. And Joey murdered me. He Spidey <laughs> punched me in the gonads like instantly. I was like... Yeah, it was a really cool ending. And then he tried to kill Thor, and then Thor, like, he actually killed Thor, and then Thor had a card that he played, and he, he basically rolled the dice, and if he made the roll, and it was like 50-50, he got resurrected back to one health point, and then Thor won the game. It was actually a really, really cool ending. Nice purple dice. What, uh, what color would you call this? Is this straight purple, buddy? Uh, sure. Sure. All right, we'll go What's with straight right? purple. It's Wakanda purple, baby. Wakanda purple. Yeah, you're wrong, okay? Wakanda purple. Wakanda forever. Wakanda purple forever. Wakanda purple forever. It's like Laker colors. Laker color, I guess. I don't know. It makes a lot of sense. Is that a is that a sports thing team? Yes, it's a sports reference. High it's a sports thing team. Cut, cut out the sports reference. Here, cut it out. Cut it out. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna want to hear that. No, <laughs> nobody. All right, so that's in that box. We're gonna go to the next. Hey, you're, a, you're a board gamer that knows about sports. sports. You're a day walker. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're a day walker. You are. Yes, I am. You are. Get out of here with that nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, my Sundays are going to be filled up from here on out. With what? Football! football. Oh, yeah. Just right. like our Saturdays are filled up from here on out. Yeah. Apparently. With football! I like football. I guess. Have fun with that whole thing, She'll guys. Be I'll be playing. I'll be playing Great board games. Sport. I'll be playing board games back at HQ, guys. So that's where the real geeks hang out, apparently. When you do your sports thing. All right, guys. Uh, more uh, stuff here, of course. Black Widow again. You know, with her uh, conditions and stuff like that on her quick board. Again, with the standees that I don't know what purpose they serve because there's no standees with them. Uh, sometimes you'll have like certain like little silhouettes and things like that on the board, but those are not on there. Combat points, of course, health. You've seen all this already. You got your, what would, color would you call black, that? Black, like black. your soul. Like my soul. Yeah, you're not wrong. There you go, more cards here. I'd go through each of the cards, but I mean, pretty much if you played the game, you know, there's a, a lot of similar stuff. Um, and they, you know, they have their own abilities on top of that. But I won't go into all that. This is an unboxing after all. Although, we are doing live streaming now. Right? 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 Yeah, we so, we did our first one last night. Uh, last night. If you guys haven't checked that out, I would check it out. It was a lot of fun. to play Guild of Merchant Crossings. I guarantee you we'll be live streaming. Guild of Merchant Crossings? Guild of, Mer Guild of, of Merchant Explorers. Explorers. Not Merchant Crossings. Yes, I know. <laughs> I got too much stuff in the noggin. Animal Crossings. Guild of Animal Crossings. Um, but basically, uh, we will probably do a live stream of this at some point. This will be fun. Do a two on two or whatever of this would be. Now the camera's hooked up. Now the, yeah, now that we got the camera going. Uh, all right, we have our last set of dice. What color would you call this? Brown. Doo doo brown. Doo doo brown. <laughs> I'm going to stop asking you for colors from now on here, buddy, but thank, thank you for that. Thank you for I didn't that. I asked you in the first place. I was just playing all along. <laughs> I apologize for Dr. Misfit here. I should call you Dr. Chaos. That's probably a better term, right? We have a few we videos. We another eight years of chaos <laughs> just medical just school just yeah. to call yeah. him. <laughs> just to call him <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chaos. Don't call yeah. me sir. <laughs> what was that? Do -do oh, yeah. Maybe not Dr. Chaos as much, <laughs> but we'll see. He's in one of our videos. What video did we do together, buddy? Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. You know what? I wasn't paying attention. You were in the video. I was in the video? Wasn't it like Search for Planet, I don't know? Yes. Search for Planet search X. Search for Planet X, yes. If you want to see Dr. Planet Chaos, X. Dr. Misfit, <laughs> check out Search for Planet X. Well, thank you for joining me, guys, for this Under the Lid. This is very different Under the Lid today uh, for more uh, Marvel Dice Throne. Thanks again. Uh, this, has been, uh, this has been a lot of fun, guys, and this game is absolutely super awesome. So, guys, take care, and don't forget to uh, Dice Throne on, guys, or Game On. Game On!